today we are going to be talking about the fitment on the Anderson Composites hood. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please, none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gonna do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lives, real lives. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips. New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go. I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road. Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, today we are going to be talking about the fitment on the Anderson Composites hood. So, let's get straight into it. So, yeah, man, as you guys can see, we have the ZL1 Anderson Composites double-sided carbon fiber hood and as y'all can see with these gaps in these body lines there is no improper spacing no gaps nothing it's lined up perfectly installed by yours truly you know what I'm saying look at that you know I'm not no body shot worker or nothing but when it comes to the car you dig what I'm saying I'm gonna get it right so basically like I was telling you guys in the install video if you haven't seen that video make sure you guys go check it out it'll be attached to this video but basically when installing this hood I actually had to adjust my hood latch because with it just being straight on when I first installed it and I went to close it it would latch however there was about an inch of a gap between the bumper and the hood and so basically what I had to do was I had to go through on my hood latch there's two 15 millimeter bolts if I'm not mistaken all you got to do is loosen them joints up it would definitely help to have somebody else with you to hold the latch when you get the holes the bolts loosened up because once you adjust it and you go to tighten up the bolts it is most definitely going to drop it did it to me like twice <laughs> but with that being said man the install was not that hard um i've driven the car a couple days now and i haven't seen the hood shake i haven't seen it tweak i haven't seen it quiver or nothing like that and as you guys know we are going to the drag strip this friday if the weather holds out hopefully it doesn't rain out here in houston and we'll be at the drag strip making max speed passes so well not max speed but you know what i'm saying high speed passes and we do not want this hood to fly up that's not what we want so i made sure that the hood was as flush as possible with the bumper because I'm not running hood pins and I know that when air gets in between that gap, that space, these hoods are so light, you know, it'll cause them to fly up. And you guys got to remember, this is an aftermarket hood. It is not the stock hood. So it is not, you know what I'm saying, going to fit or be as durable as the stock hood would be now moving on to the trunk i do want to mention the trunk i'll touch on the trunk a little bit as well the trunk definitely needed some work as far as the latch goes as well i think that i could have retained the black piece that goes right here if i moved the latch but i didn't so i might go back and try to do that and then see if i could put that black piece back on because as you guys know i took it off but yes this is a double-sided carbon fully carbon anderson composites spoiler integrated trunk and then we got the double-sided hood let's pop that for y'all one time oh my god this is like one of my favorite angles man because it's like ZL1 slash ZR1, C7ZR1 type vibes. Right there on that vent, how it's so aggressive. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's the shot right there. Sheesh, bro. Let's go ahead and pop this hood and I'm going to show you guys. Fully double-sided carbon. Y'all see it, man. I feel like, you know, they need to be polished a little more, but... You know, we're going to make it do what it do. Got the Anderson Composites badge right there. Stamp of approval. But with the hood installed, man, now we have a problem. The front end does not have enough carbon fiber for me. So we go ahead and close the hood.
like the front end just doesn't have enough carbon and I don't want to replace the OEM lip even though there is a carbon fiber style lip Anderson makes it and extreme online store makes it which is where I got my side skirts from those need to be rebuffed for sure but we'll get to that later um but APR makes a splitter for the lip which is carbon so I feel like I need to go ahead and get that for sure for sure so y'all let me know in the comment section down below is it enough carbon honestly it's never enough carbon but I'm really thinking about getting that APR splitter to kind of make the bumper flow with the hood man like, oh, it looks so good man Jesus just a full angle check for you guys <laughs> full angle check for y'all thing looks insane man Like, excluding the exhaust tips, you dig? <laughs> this thing looks aggressive from the antenna, the gas cap, the side skirts, man. And you got, like, bro, this is my favorite angle right here. Oh, my God, bro. Like, that's my favorite angle right there, y'all. Y'all don't understand. That thing is so nasty. That vent. Whew. I've been thinking about maybe putting some right there like the ZL1 has, but I don't know if I'm going to do one LE just because I have it on the fender already. We'll see. We'll see. I I'm kind of been, I've kind of been spitballing ideas, but I might put something right there on that hood. With all that being said, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video. All I'll say is when you get these carbon fiber parts, man, just be on the safe side and be ready to have to make adjustments it's not gonna fit just straight off you know out the box bolted on you're gonna have to adjust either your latches when it comes to the trunks and the hoods and then for the fenders you're gonna have to adjust the doors and all of that a lot of adjustments if you are not like savvy like that like you don't feel confident fam i'll be honest take it to a shop and let them do it for you for real or just you know Get a couple buddies with you. That way you're not doing it alone because it is a little tedious and especially to get the body lines perfect like how mine are, it definitely takes time. You got to go back, trial and error a lot, but it, it's definitely worth it once you get everything lined up and sitting flush and the end product, I mean, you guys seen it. Like, bro, that's my car, bro. Like, that thing looks crazy, bro. And I'm just getting started. That's the crazy part. But with all that being said, man, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about the hood, man. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. Let's go ahead and roll that outro. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.